Hi guys, in today's video I will share with you my experience of using the camera of OnePlus 8 Pro. We will test its photo and video capabilities and I will tell you my opinion on what are the pros and cons. Let's first talk about the photography. I tested the camera in a few different scenarios, on bright daylight and low light during the night. First we will look at the standard day shot, ultra wide, wide telephoto and a maximum of 30x zoom shot. The image quality is pretty good in all of the three photos, the 3x hybrid zoom is usable, the image is sharp and there is no noise. However, 30x zoom is only digital and there is a lot of noise, pretty much it looks the same as on all the phones when you max out the zoom. The macro is very impressive, the camera can focus from a very small distance of about 2 to 3 centimeters. When it comes to low light, OnePlus did a good job, the nightscape feature produces a very clean image, I recommend using it over the regular camera mode. Now when it comes to video, let's see what the OnePlus 8 Pro camera is capable of. The next video was shot entirely on the OnePlus 8 Pro. I have to say, the video is very stable, this is just me walking with the phone and it looks almost like if I was using a gimbal. Unfortunately, the slow motion is very disappointing, too much noise and very less details. Here I went to search for a gaming case, let's browse around. The close-up focus of OnePlus 8 Pro in the video also looks very impressive. Check out this case for iPhone 11 Pro with a 3D horse on its back, it looks pretty cool. Here I found what I was looking for, a gaming case for the OnePlus 8 Pro and later we can test it. So what I think about the camera of the OnePlus 8 Pro. When it comes to photography, the camera performs very well, is probably one of the best cameras on a phone right now. The close-up focus is very impressive and you can take some great shots from a very close distance. However, the biggest disappointment here is the overall video quality, for example, the half-priced iPhone SE makes a much better video, even though it relies on a single camera. Maybe OnePlus will improve the video quality with a software update, but I guess we have to wait to see. Now let's try the new gaming case. This is a pretty good case, it's made of two layers, one is a hard plastic shell on the outside and the other is a soft silicon on the inside. If you are playing games and holding the phone without a case is a bit uncomfortable, so adding a case like this improves the whole experience, especially for a long gameplay. Now let's begin with the gaming test. First we will test Knives Out, this is a very similar game to the PUBG, but I think this game has better graphics than the PUBG. All the settings are on max, we will play it on 60 frames realistic mode with OnePlus fanatic mode turn on. This is a really heavy game, if you play it with a lower spec spawn and you max out all the settings, you will experience drop frames and a jitter graphics.
Check out this, you can fly a drone and use it to spy on other players. This is pretty cool. This is a fun game, I tried for the first time. If you like PUBG, you can try also Knives Out, you might like it too. Now let's test the PUBG, I will play one full game, all the graphics settings are on max and yes, HDR mod is on. That's it guys, the OnePlus 8 Pro has a great camera for taking pictures and you can play all the latest games with no issues, especially with a gaming case like this. I definitely recommend you to get a similar phone case if you want to play games on OnePlus 8 Pro. I saw in the comments some of you are asking about display issues with OnePlus 8 Pro. I can say that I don't have any problems with this device. The display is bright and the colors are great. There are no any color shifting or other similar issues. The battery life is also great, even with a big display like this and a 120Hz refresh rate. I usually use the auto power saving mode and I can use the phone all day with playing games, taking pictures and watching videos and I still end with more than 20% battery life. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment, don't be shy, stay cool and I'll see you soon.